Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to Natural. Just look at the beautiful dress. Isn't she a beauty? I just think she's breathtaking. The colors, the fit, the blue sock sleeves I keep talking about, and it has pockets. So this dress really surprised me. It was so much better in person and I love the fit. I'm wearing this corset leather belt because I wasn't able to get my size at the store. However, I did order a size four and a six which is on its way to me and we'll be able to see which is the size that I'm going to keep. As I mentioned in the first video, I too was going to the Target store just because I love to touch and feel and get a sense of what's to come and I'm so glad that I did. It was just the vibrancy of the colors, the quality of the material, and I was pleasantly surprised how much attention was paid to the details that would definitely make the dress. For instance, the puff sleeves. This could be a project that goes completely wrong if you don't do it the right way, and it was executed with perfection. The pockets. Sometimes when you add pockets to the dress, if they're not done in the right area, it can actually be a little bit restricting or add volume that you don't want. These are deep pockets and they are towards the hips, which is phenomenal. The closing here on the sides, it is amazing. It leaves the back for a complete clean look. The V-neck, not low at all. So this is a size eight. And I think I can get away with it because I'm tall, I'm five, eight and a half. However, if I remove the belt, it's quite roomy and large. You guys see this? It's a lot of material. And these are the best types of belt. It has this natural flare here, so it gives you this hourglass, and it does not bulk the material. It allows me to set the material evenly across and it just flattens and I think it's very, very flattering. If you don't want to wear a belt like this because it's just not your style, I'm going to show you some other belts that work. Here is just another classic belt with a gold emblem in the front. It also works. Red is a neutral. So don't think of red as a color that is competing with the dress. Think of red as a neutral that is going to enhance. Now I think I have to loosen this up a little bit. I just showed you three different belts that go with an oversized dress. Now once I get the dress, I'll decide if I'm gonna keep the four or the six. But I also wanna show the look with some flats for a more casual look. Now here's the dress, more casually dressed. This is a vintage DKNY belt with some gold link and gold buckle, and the sandals have some bling very, very comfortable. I think it's beautiful also because it doesn't take away from the dress. Love it. If you wanted to play with this lime green, you could also. So don't limit yourselves. Again, bring your flavor, your twist to the look. For me, I love a flat, so I'm always going to gravitate towards a flat that's a little bit more special than a regular flat because it'll elevate the look and I don't want it to compete so I kept it black. The flat is a black base with the rhinestone. You can still play with the color of the belt. Don't limit yourselves. If you want to do something that's a little bit more summery, there's also a Zara belt like this which you can play with. The buckle is a tortoise brown, but it still works. The idea is to try to cover this line here. So one of the tricks I do is I get it a little longer and then I scoop it from the bottom to the front. Do you see this? I like that because I don't like it to just hang. So if I left it like that, I don't like that. And if I left it like this, it's okay. I don't like that flip. So what I do is I take the belt and I scoop it underneath and then I loop the excess right through. 
I think that looks a lot chicer, it's cleaner, and it still cinches. And there's no extra material hanging. Oh, the details of these sleeves, I just love. The material is cotton, so it's breathable. I love that it's a maxi length. It's beautiful. My shoes get the opportunity to get high lit equally as the dress. And then the belt, play. If you want the focus to be more on your waist, then get a more embellished belt or something that stands out. I'm going to play with this gold bronze belt because I want to show you to just think outside the box and play with everything you have readily available. Do you guys see? It's still stunning. It doesn't take away from the dress. It actually plays really nice with this line. So just think outside the box and play. All of these belts I get either at a thrift store, vintage store, the Zara belts. I always wait to the end of the season. Summer sale is coming up. Starts usually the first day of summer, so jot that down in your calendars. And the winter one starts the day after Christmas. So these are two key dates that I personally use to score the accessories or any of the more expensive items that I lust after on Zara.com. Now this dress is absolutely beautiful. The colors, the feel of the dress, everything about this dress is lovely. I simply would not wear it with heels. It's not my thing. It's very uncomfortable for me. And I'm not even going to walk to try on the sides and the flats. I'm just going to cut right here. Now these are some shoes that I would wear with this dress and I would play around with this belt. Do you see how elevated and classy that is? It's just the gold and a flat that's embellished. It doesn't take away from elegance. It does not take away from the elevated look. This is the way I would wear the dress. Just love it. I love that it plays very well with the natural colors of the dress. It does not compete. It allows the dress to shine. Just enough bling on the shoe. Another pretty way to elevate this, the gold flowers do not compete. Probably can go a little bit tighter, but because the dress has a lot of material, it's a little bit hard. See there? It's beautiful. And again, it doesn't compete with the dress. Actually, the flowers play very, very nice with the flower print. The gold elevates the look. I hope you can see that it's really about playing with what you have and not only wearing the dress the way it comes, but thinking outside the box. This dress I love. It is a size small. It's a lot of material. I'm thinking about maybe getting the extra small. I love this. I love, love. I know it's oversized. I know it's a lot of material. I love this here. I love the playfulness of it. I also love the deep pockets. I love that the oversized fit is not impacting the length in the front. It ends exactly where it should, and the drape of the longer back is perfect. The size is a small. I am thinking that maybe an extra small would equally work. If I wanted to cinch at the waist, I really couldn't with all this material. I love this dress exactly as it is, oversized and a little paper baggish. It's very street style the way that I'm wearing it. I scored all these dresses at three o'clock in the morning in my size, but I went to the store and they didn't have the sizing, so I bought the closest thing to it just to show you the sizing, the fit, and the materials. I didn't even get a chance to steam these dresses. It was really about getting the information, the content out to you and getting your thoughts on the dresses. I'd love to hear which dresses 
really met your needs, surpassed the expectations, and which ones were thumbs down, did not quite do it for you. I do love the dress without a belt. However, I don't think the large does it for me. It's going to definitely be the small because of the overwhelming amount of material. Full transparency, this dress here, the colorful one, is the same dress as the green one. So for time's sake, I am just showing you the dress on. I clipped a belt. It is a size large. So once again, it is just too much material. However, I do love the print, and I cannot wait to get the small. On part two, I will do a video with the right sizing. Now this is the rainbow dress. It's a size six, just so that you can see how it fits. I tried it on with these shoes because I wanted to just play a little bit. I wanted to also show you that it is pretty large here. I could get a four, but I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be tight here, and I don't want to compromise any of the width in these sleeves. So I think the six is the keeper in this dress. These are front pockets. I like them more for show than I do for actual placing my hands in them. It's just a personal preference, but I do like the shoes with it. I think it definitely plays up the look. I love the juxtaposition and playfulness of the glitter in the shoe with the colors of the dress. So the yellow is on here, the bright orange is on here, and the green. I love this. This is the way I would wear the dress. Of course, I would steam the pocket, and I love changing the belt. I prefer to use a belt that's a little bit more special and enhance the look than just wear the cotton belt that comes with it. Not that I wouldn't do it, it's just a matter of preference. And now I'm going to try the look with a pair of sneakers. These are some sneakers. I think I love the white, and I think the playfulness of the tongue adds an element of surprise to the look. So look for something a little quaint, something that is unexpected to complement the look. Well, we've come to an end. There are some looks that I was not able to share because they were only available online. So once I receive those looks, I will do a part two to this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do not hit the notification button, you will not get the notice once a new video has been launched. So I hope you have a glorious weekend. And until next time, my friends, toodles.